the nature of his licensing, whether he had an FAC or not, where he obtained the firearms from, that is very much still part of the ongoing investigation. In fact, it's a key part of the ongoing investigation. You do not know what he was licensed to own at this point? We have uh, a, a fairly good idea, at least in Canada, uh, that he did not have a, a, an FAC, a Firearms Acquisition Certificate. Thank you, and were handguns Thank you, used in, this, in his attacks? I, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. that. That aspect is still part of the investigation. So let me get this straight. A denturist, not Pookie from up the block or Chad from the motorcycle gang or Javier the Cholo for life or Chang Su the tried gangster, but a Canadian denturist, someone who likely made Joe Biden's fake teeth, managed to get a gun in a country where you can't even own a gun without a license and people still think it makes sense to pass more gun control laws? For crying out loud, a man who makes fake teeth shut down an entire city for 12 hours. He went house to house shooting people like it was nothing and none of these laws stopped him from doing it. Yet, you want us to give up more of our 2A rights and completely depend on the government who could barely keep people safe from a teeth maker. You people have lost your minds. If this guy was able to get his hands on a gun illegally in a country that has way more gun laws than we have here in America, can you imagine what career criminals can get their hands on in America? People of Canada and the people of America, we are not this stupid. We are allowing these moronic power hungry politicians to put us in a position where the only people who will have guns are the government and the criminals. Clearly this man was no clandestine tier one operator and he got the best of the government and killed 18 people. Do you really want to live in a world where you're the only one without a gun and the only people with guns are people who see you as a victim? I know what you're thinking, but, but, but Cody on Noir, they don't want to take all the guns. They just, they just want to take some of them. That's a lie. Canada has damn near all the gun control laws and they're still talking about it's not enough. Two more shootings and there will be nowhere else to go but to ban all of them. It won't stop. They'll always say, well, we didn't go far enough last time. And before you know it, you have nothing. They literally did this in Australia. And last time I checked, Australia was no utopia. And they're a damn island. Stop voting for these dangerous gun control laws and stop voting for these power hungry politicians who see you as nothing more than a child threatening to run away, but know you'll be back because you depend on them for everything. Anti-gunners like to use Canada as an example of what America should be. I'm here today to tell you America should be an example of what the world should be. We're the most powerful country in the world because we have the most empowered citizens in the world. So keep it that way. Right now there's a culture war against the second amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.